Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a video full of beautiful French matte lipsticks. We've got two different brands here, although we are leaning heavily towards Chanel as I tend to do. We have quite a few of the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Lip Colors. Those are brand new. We'll talk about those brand new shades, I should say. And our new Givenchy Rouge Interdite Intense Matte Lipstick, which we'll talk about as well, and a little try-on. Plus, I was at my favorite Chanel boutique. You know, I always put Nazi's name and contact information down below, not for anything for me at all. I just think she's amazing. And if you buy a lot of luxury makeup, it is so good to have someone that you can rely on. So I always put Nazi's contact information below because she's amazing. And look at, I got this cute little sample. <laughs> look at this little tiny lip bar that's so cute. And these cool little Chanel charms. Did you guys see this around the holidays? I had not heard of them. Nazi couldn't believe it. I hadn't heard of them. Cute little charms and a little Camilla flower. I just love when you go in person to Chanel, it's an experience. I always talk about it here on the channel because I love it. But let's talk about, so let's talk about Chanel first because we're talking about them anyway. The Chanel Rouge Alert Velvet Luminous Matte Lip Color. So there were six pre-existing shades and they have added 14 new ones. So they started with six shades and they're $45 each and the brand went, hey, these are working, let's add 14 more. So they've got a total of 20 now. And of those, I have some of the pre-existing, but I brought out three new ones that I bought. They're $45 each. Trust me, I would have loved to buy all 14 new shades. Like, oh, trust me, if money were no object, I would have. But obviously, I had to pull in the reins a bit. Um, so here's what I got. And I'm going to swatch them and lip swatch them too. We're going to try them all on. I got... Um, the brand new number 61, um, which is intuitive. I'll show you that on my arm. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that shade. You know, they all kind of in the rows have different um, kind of shade ranges and kind of families that they, that they fit into. And I got the number 54, which is the paradoxal shade. And that's kind of a really pretty red. You'll see me try it on. By the way, if you don't know this already, these are not the refillable ones, but these are really elegant tubes. And I don't know if you know this, so you have the little Chanel tube and we have a little double CC on the back. You know, it's always so beautiful. And when you put it in and close it, you can really close it and then push to take, it's just, it's beautiful. It's kind of part of the Chanel experience, which is why I like to go in store. Here we have number 51, 51, which is legendaire, and that is more of a warmer, kind of orangey red. So I, I wanted to just get kind of three different um, undertones and shades there. So we have more of a neutral, a cool, and a warm, and those are beautiful. If you've never worn, I don't know, I have a lot of subscribers and viewers who tell me that they can't wear matte lipsticks, it gets too drying, um, and a lot of people do prefer Charlotte Tilbury mattes or Lisa Eldridge mattes. If you are looking for a matte that is light as air and comfy, I do encourage you to try the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet. You, They're matte, but honestly, I defy you to be able to tell. They are so nourishing to the lips and so airy and comfy, it feels like there's nothing on. So if you really kind of want that look of a mat, I, I know they're $45 each, but I think you guys would love them if you gave them a try. Now, I'm just gonna give one moment of notice to the fact that Givenchy has released their Rouge Interdite Intense. Um, interdite means prohibited, it's prohibited. Um, and they have got the Silk Satin um, Matte Lipstick. And I went ahead and just bought one. These are $40 each. I bought one in the shade Nude uh, Boise. Um, which is 116, and I'll just show you that here. This is also a really comfy lipstick. Let me just put that right there. My only issue with the Givenchy, I do love the Givenchy lipstick. I prefer Chanel. My only issue with the Givenchy is there's a weird kind of cloyingly sweet smell to the Givenchy lipsticks that I'm used to because I own quite a few of them. 
um, and they perform and they're so comfy and the scent does go away. I'm not a huge fan of the scent upon first opening and that's very picky because it does dissipate and I mean they are beautiful and they're super comfy too. But I just wanted to give you guys some options of some. Um, it's fun because you know though the prices are high it's still buying a little bit of luxury and they're so comfortable you would honestly feel like you have a lip balm on with both of these brands and yet it's a matte lipstick and they're so beautiful so now that you've seen them on my arm here in studio lighting let's pop outside into the warm california sunshine i lie a little bit it's been a bit rainy but it is some good natural lighting for you to take a look at these and i'll remind you of the order that we're going in here we first have three of the brand new Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet shades, um, 61 Intuitive, 54 Paradoxal, and 51 Legendaire, followed by one on its own of the Givenchy Rouge Interdite Intense Silk Satin Matte Lipstick, and that is shade N116 Nude Boise. So you have seen those outside as well. Now I want to go to a little montage, you know me and my montages, that I have put together with me trying each of these shades on. Like I said, I wish for the Chanel I could have done all 14, maybe one day. But I just wanted to give you the idea and to let you know that these are incredibly comfy and to let you know that you really should, if you are a fan, don't just buy it Ulta. I mean, I know it's easy to buy at Ulta, trust me. But if you get a chance, it's really fun to actually pop into a Chanel store and see everything that's happening. It's just a really fun experience and that part of it costs you nothing. You know what I mean? It's really, really fun. All right, so let's take a look right now at the demo. Okay, what did you think? I'm so happy with all of these. When I tell you they're comfortable, they're amazing. And like I said, I know that Charlotte Tilbury and Lisa Eldridge make lovely matte lipsticks. I think these are lighter and even more comfortable. That's just, I still love those other brands, of course. But I'm just telling you, you really can't go wrong. There's just something about these lipsticks that is indeed extraordinary. And on Chanel's side of it, they wouldn't have made 14 more after they tested six, right? It's right there. Okay, so let me know your favorite matte lipstick. When I ran my end of the year survey, I had a lot of people not answer the matte lipstick question. They said, oh, I can't wear those. I encourage you to try these. Just try it or get a little sample and try it, you know, um, because I think you would be pleasantly surprised. All right, let me know your thoughts down below. That's what makes us a community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow and come say a big hello over on Instagram and TikTok too. Remember that you can support this channel by becoming a member for special membership exclusives and you can support this channel by giving super thanks, which so many of you have done. But at whatever level you participate, please know that I appreciate you. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.